Oh, I actually passed out. What the fuck? Oh! She uses a claymore! It's a white blind! Dear God, it's a whole army of Gardamex. Oh shit, that, that guy's thick. Uh, Chlorand? Electro? Oh, it's her. So she's on our side. She's the new Kaching when she comes out. Kind of looks like it. Thank you for lending us your sword there, Clorand. But before I do so, could you explain how you managed to show up here? I followed you. It seemed to me that danger has followed you more closely as of late. I believe that following someone without their knowledge is actually called stalking, is it not? It is. Mr. Callus's last wish was for me to ensure your safety, and I will not betray his trust. Callus. He would do the same were he alive today. Do not speak of my father. Sorry, Demoiselle. I was not strong enough. Thank you for your aid, Miss Coran, but do keep an eye out for your manner of speech. I believe we all wish to avoid unnecessary emotional harm. Sorry, I did not consider your feelings. I like her voice, though. Whatever. What else do you know? How did you come to the conclusion that I'd be in grave danger? I doubt I know much more than you. But I believe that the mastermind behind the serial disappearances is very powerful. Your performance tonight will almost certainly attract their attention. Huh. I'm sure they've known about me. To be honest, I'm shocked it's taken them this long to act against me. And what about these Gardamex? I thought only those associated with the Maison Guardianage could control them. None of these mecha have serial numbers. I was sure to check a moment ago. They are not the ones used by the authorities to enforce the law. Ooh. I can only conclude that some powerful or wealthy party must have obtained them via illegal means. Deploying them as a private force of sorts. What? Your point being that they're out of Spina di Rosula's league, then? Yes. Be careful, and do not act rashly. I will continue investigating, no matter what. We will bring the truth to light. That's my father's true last wish. I think this girl, when she becomes a playable character, which she probably will be... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, uh, like, uh, cut DPS, kind of like, uh, what's her, what's his name? A death based DPS, kind of like Noel and uh, and Ito. Regardless, thank you for your help today, Clarand. But, if you get any ideas, tell me first. I don't much appreciate being followed. I do not think that they'll strike again anytime soon. So I shall stop following you. Good day, all.
Right. I suppose that's the best news we've gotten today. Demoiselle, I believe that Miss Clorand was being sincere with you. If we tried, we could attempt to thaw relations a little. Oh shit. I know, I just... She's... <sighs> what just happened? Champion duelist named Corin, who came out to save us too. We got lucky there. Paimon probably couldn't have fought them off otherwise. Oh, <laughs> so you're a fighter now, Paimon. Oh, <laughs> come now. Forget all that polite talk. That wasn't really a farewell meal we had back there. Not for me, anyway. In truth, I hope that every meal we have together shall be a victory feast. As such, we're still partners. There's no need to thank me. Okay. It will take 50 years for me to match Demoiselle's magnanimity. If wow. it were me, I would have joined the Spina di Rosula on account of her goodwill long ago. <laughs> All right, you two. That's enough. Actually, Navia, how did you know that we were in danger? You sure did show up in the nick of time. Well, to be honest, you're the one who tipped us off, Paimon. Huh? Really? Paimon contributed somehow? Oh, Paimon's <laughs> even more amazing than she thought! I'm as surprised as you are. Yes, all thanks to you grabbing my drink by mistake. Uh, how did that help? After we parted ways, I was on the way back to one of our bases when I suddenly thought of what you said. That the Fanta tasted kind of salty and icky? Wait, do you mean that? I thought it tasted strange as well, but I couldn't be sure. Fanta only comes in sweet flavors. So how could it have tasted salty? The color of the drink, if I recall, had also been a bit off. Oh, we, we, we were we being drugged. So the Fanta had been spiked with water from the Primordial Sea? Yes. So if you hadn't drunk that cup for me... Wow. We saved her. Spina di Rosula is preparing the grandest of awards for you as we speak for saving the boss. Huh. Really? Fortunately, Paimon, neither of us are from Fontaine. Otherwise, we would have been... We sent people to Hotel de Boer to investigate. But whoever did this left no trace at all. That's when I figured out that you might be in danger and hurried here as quickly as I could. But why would they go after us too? All we did was defend Linny in court and help clear his name. Oh, now we're caught up in this. Not trail. that's not the only thing we did. We also exposed uh the their plans of dissolving people. Well, you did foil a plan that they were probably pretty proud of. Yes. They almost got their name in the process. Yes. Speaking of which, did anything strange happen when you drank the primordial seawater? Probably that. You know, we heard the, the voice more. Well, it can't be a coincidence that the traveler fainted just now. He said that he heard that voice calling for Vashe again. Oh, and this time Paimon heard it too. But it was real faint. Does this situation have to do with the primordial seawater then? According to Lynette. The ability to hear voices like that has to do with one's sensitivity to the hydro element. Does that mean the primordial seawater raises someone's sensitivity to hydro when it's used on people who are not from Fontaine? That doesn't sound like too much of a bad thing, to be honest. Also gained a new intel. New intel? While you were out cold? Yes. Right. Well, let's hear it, shall we? The voice in the fountain belonged to one of the missing women. A person named Vache was a witness when she dissolved. Oh, that is important. You tell everyone what happened while you were connected to Oceana's consciousness. Vache? That name doesn't ring a bell. I suppose he hasn't stepped forward as a witness in court lately. Since he saw that young woman dissolve, he was at least at the crime scene. But he never gave testimony or any information regarding people dissolving in the primordial seawater. 
Could he have been threatened? If he's still alive, we should try searching for him. Yes, thank you. This is very important information indeed. We will continue to investigate. All right, partner. Oh, you mean you'll help us investigate? Wow. What you just said, oh, whatever, dude. Well, you did say that our farewell meal didn't really count. That means we're still partners, right? Yes. Besides, we're in this now whether we like it or not. You're not going to let those people who targeted us get off the hook so easily, are you, Traveler? Messing with us will cost them. This will prove to be their biggest mistake. Demoiselle, do try not to look quite so pleased. You are the face of Spina di Rosula, after all. <laughs> you talk too much. <sighs> well, in that case, let's head back to one of our bases, shall we? I'll arrange accommodations for you. Right, let me try not. We also have some plans to go over, and hopefully we can deepen our bonds as partners. But Ooh. we'll take that one step at a time, I guess. Don't worry. Oh, shit. With us around, our base is definitely secure. Lenick in... Oh. What's that? Lenick in Foljeviz. Sure. All right. Go to the Spina di Rosula stronghold, which is here. Um, I guess this is the way. I'm just gonna trust the sparkly bits. Oh, aha! Oh, my fruits. Here. It's right up ahead, but let's make sure we weren't followed first. Oh, come on. I've been keeping watch, Demoiselle. I haven't spotted anyone suspicious thus far. Huh. Very good. But let's not let our guard down for now. I shall find rooms for our respected guests. Thank you, Malus. Now, let's continue, traveler. Ace. Go to the accommodations Navia arranged. Oh shit. Underground. Okay. Wait, I see some some shiny bits. My radish now. Okay. Uh Okay. Just gonna keep falling. Check around, make sure we're not missing anything, any exploration bits. Oh, oh, I can get on top of this. Oh, whatever. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. Wait, that's water. Wait, hold on, I, wanna get, I actually want to get down here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Talk to Malus. Oh, shiny. Aha. Give me that shit. That is what I imagined. Your accommodations have been arranged. Under the present circumstances, I can confidently say it's the best we have. Well, thank you. <laughs> well, our funds have been a little tight lately. 
I knew it. After all, we don't allow illegal or unethical profiteering. In fact, our funds often come from citizenry who support us. Seems like it's tough times for everyone. But if you have the support of the people, that does sound like it's worth it. <sighs> to be honest, our financial situation was a lot better back when my father was in charge a few years ago. <sighs> I'm afraid I'm not quite his equal. Your father... He was the previous boss of Spina di Rosula, right? How did he... Uh, Demoiselle, if you'll allow me to explain. And uh, no. I I'll explain it myself. I suppose I couldn't run from this topic forever. And as partners, this is something I hope they can understand. My father's name is Callus. Yes, the same one they call Callus the Unfaithful in the streets. Oh, he has some music. Sad music. Three years ago, he was accused of murdering his own friend. But he chose a duel to defend his honor instead of standing trial. He died in the duelist's ring. Oh no. But I do not believe my father was a murderer. I'm sure he was set up. At the time, I believed that if he only stood trial and was duly investigated, something amiss would crop up and prove his innocence. I don't think so. If somebody framed him, they would take the necessary precautions in order for him to like actually be incarcerated. So I kind of agree with with her dad's uh, decision to like take his chances with with a duel. But is he even proficient in combat in the first place? But strangely, he not only requested the duel himself, but rumor has it that even after being seriously injured to the point where he could be deemed as having lost the duel, he refused to surrender. Determined to die in the arena. <sighs> Three years later, I still don't understand why he did that. Hmm, probably coercion. Or uh, blackmail, maybe? Or maybe, you know, they threatened... They threatened her, uh, his daughter. Which means, it's you. How could he protect his honor if he's dead? If anything, he gave up his chance to defend himself. It does seem quite odd. The closest piece of info I have is that my father had been investigating the serial disappearances case at the time of his death. Ah, so that's why you're so determined to get to the bottom of that case. That's right. I have also tried to investigate the murder my father was implicated in. But I haven't found a single new clue in my countless reviews of the investigation records. However, I believe that if the murder case is related to those behind the disappearances, they must know something. I must know what really happened. He probably got to the bottom of it. Forced, framed? Even if he really did kill his friend, I must get to the truth. That's what I thought. <sighs> if only he'd been more open with me when he was still alive. He probably couldn't, because he couldn't bear the thought of you being uh, involved in this. Even hid the fact that my mother died due to complications when giving birth to me. Oh shit. And now, here I am investigating his death. <laughs> you really are a handful, aren't you, Papa? Seeking the truth for the sake of your family. You know, we're quite alike in this regard. Demoiselle, please. If there is anything I can do, anything at all. I also will never believe that Master Callus murdered anyone. There are none whom I respect more than the two of you, Demoiselle. Master Callus did so much good in life, yet all it took was one murder case for him to be dubbed Callus the Unfaithful. Faithful, you know? Even our supporters decreased greatly due to that incident, hence our uh, strained finances at present. Yeah. Wait, if Callus was such a good man, wouldn't people at least be a little suspicious when he was accused? That's how people are. They're only good to you if you're, if you're uh, good to them. But if there's any hint of you being, you know, 
not so good. They gotta let that go. Uh, no. Perhaps people just revel in that kind of drama. It's not something exclusive to people from Fontaine, really. Everyone's like that. Close enough. People love watching the evil turn over a new leaf, but they also enjoy watching good people fall into an abyss from one slip-up just as much. But how could... Uh, never mind. If Callus was really falsely accused, we have to find the truth. He didn't deserve to have that happen to him. And there is one other thing. Master Callus's opponent in the duel was Ms. Corand. Oh, her? Well, then, isn't that as good as saying that she was the one who killed him? I wonder the mood was a little strange between the two of you. Yeah, that's not the sort of thing that you can just let go and move on from. Miss Clorand has always placed great emphasis on the honorable nature of the duel. If her opponent doesn't yield, she will not stop either. She knew Master Callus beforehand and greatly respected him, but seeing how he was resolute in the arena, there was only ever one choice she could have made. It's not that I don't understand her at all, but I... I just can't deal with this yet. Don't worry, Navia. Paimon knows how you feel. You don't have to force yourself to do that. Afterward, Ms. Coran told us that at the start of the duel, Master Callus requested that she ensure Demoiselle Navia's safety. Well, then that indicates that he intended to die in that duel. Yes, that is our understanding as well. <sighs> Oh, Papa, what madness drove you to ask the person who killed you to take care of me? All right, anyway, that's the information I wanted to share with you. Even if it did sound like I was just complaining towards the end. No, it's okay. I understand how important this is to you. Uh, thanks. You two should go and rest. This was quite a day after all. The, I think we didn't sleep for like two days. It's like during that investigation with uh, Linny, we were in that uh, theater or courthouse for like two days. Please relax and get some. Was that two days? We will ensure you rest soundly. I believe so. We were just not allowed to leave. And accommodations were made for us. Rest. I must have slept so well. This place feels almost too safe. Wow. You're going to regret saying that later. Huh? Nadia? Where did the other two go? Wait, I'm going to grab a drink. I sent 